Um, as an artist, I'm, I'm interested in, and involved with a number of different mediums, drawing, painting, printmaking, and sculpture. But printmaking is, is, one, is a medium that I feel extremely close to. Uh, and from my perspective, probably one of the most demanding of any artist that um, engages with it. Um, but I think that my affinity to it has to do with, with the uh, aspect of process. Within the process of lithography, and, and I work in a number of different mediums in printmaking, but lithography starts stone lithography is something that interests me the most. It's uh, it's almost like you go through the entire history of humanity. In lithography, you essentially draw on a piece of limestone, which is almost like cave drawing. Through that uh, process, you uh, evolve it into um, alchemy, where a certain chemistry is applied to the surface of the stone and the drawing materials, where it changes and converts into ink. In that process of ink, the stone is then placed onto a, a lithographic press that we've got here, uh, and then uh, printed, which uh, moves you towards the industrial age. Uh, once the print is done by hand, um, uh, an addition is done, and that addition is disseminated, which again brings us into, I think, a more contemporary perspective of how information is disseminated. So this, this aspect of printmaking is incredibly uh, important to me and light of how the process uh, facilitates a kind of um, uh, an excitement about um, um, uh, about the humanistic aspect of of creating uh, creating my work um, within. Um, uh, the printmaking process, um, because I'm dealing with an edition, and I should point out that even though uh, the intent of a particular print is to make the work as consistent as possible, uh, each work is very unique because they're all hand printed, they're all hand done, and it's impossible to make everything look identical. So each one varies just slightly, therefore making it an original work of art. Now, the work that I did for um, as, as a um, um, a donation to the um, new market as a cultural fundraiser um, is uh, a lithograph and uh, the title is called Sunrise. Um, I deliberately titled the work to facilitate access into the intent behind it or underneath it. Um, sunrise is, is a single word, but I separated the word sun and rise. Um, it's essentially of a sunflower. Now sunflowers have been um, have been a, explored by artists throughout time. Van Gogh is certainly one of the most uh, popular one that has done that. And I believe the reason that is, and it certainly is for me, is there's a strangeness beauty about the flower, about the blossom, about the plant itself. In fact, it's been mythologized. Uh, one of the things that intrigued me is a sunflower, um, when the sun rises, the actual head or the bloom follows the sun as it moves across the sky. Um, and for that reason, um, the, the flower has actually been mythologized. But my intent with this particular print um, had to do with the fact that the blossom is always looking at the sun. It's always looking towards an optimistic perspective, uh, a, positive, uh, a positive progression. And the shadows, uh, the shadows of the past are sitting behind. That is the intent um, and the impetus behind this particular work, Sun Rise. Um, um, now, one of the things that I think is important to mention, um, and I felt very strongly about uh, bringing it forward as a as a fundraiser for um, for, for the um, uh, cultural development of the gallery, is that there is an artist um, um, living was living in um, Newmarket named Frederick Hagen, an outstanding artist, uh, and his, he was my mentor who I met at the Ontario College of Art. Um, he always wanted um, a regional gallery gallery within the community. Um, and uh, he never lived to actually uh, see that happen. However, uh, because we were friends um, and uh, he was very interested and supportive a lot of, of a lot of my cultural involvements. And when I was involved with a gallery development, he donated a print to facilitate um, uh, fundraising for that for that particular initiative. So what goes around comes around. And that's one of the reasons why um, um, I so so freely and wanted to uh, assist within uh, the cultural development by this donation.